I was, I was, me and Cornette were staying at the George Steinbrenner Bayport Inn, and we, and here's something I got on video too. We're sleeping in late. We've traveled from Jacksonville to Tampa because we have a show at uh, some arena in Tampa that night. And then we got to go across the state and go to another show later that night. And we're staying at the George Steinbrenner Bayport Inn. Fucking George Steinbrenner was there when we were there. Jimmy didn't know who he was. And I said, Jimmy, I said, that's fucking George Steinbrenner. And I got my video camera with me. And uh, so I go over and say hi to George Steinbrenner. And I said, Mr. Steinbrenner, would you mind if I got some video with you? I said, I, I will probably never see you again. I said, I I'm not... A I'm not a Yankee fan, but I'm wearing a New York Giants Super Bowl championship uh, sweatshirt for him when they won it in like in in 90s, 86. So this might have been 87 or 88 when I'm down there. My, you know what? That was probably 87, uh, the year Chris was born. So I think it was the, the summer of 87. And I'm wearing a New York Giants Super Bowl. Cha so he thinks I'm a New York fan. And I said, oh, no. I said, some fan, uh, some uh, uh a friend of mine, I, I didn't have fans back then. I didn't start working with Goulas till 87. And I said, some friend of mine bought me this. I said, no, I'm a Cincinnati Reds fan. I said, but obviously I know who you are and I know all about the Yankees. And I said, would you mind if I got on video with you? And he looks at me and he said, who are you going to have film it? And I said, uh, my friend, Jim Cornette. Oh, Jim Cornette's your friend. He said, I'd like to meet him. I said, well, I'll make that happen. So I walk over to the counter. Jimmy's getting us checked into the hotel because the wrestlers get a great rate there. They stayed for like 25 bucks a night at the George Steinbrenner Bayport Inn, which is a pretty damn nice hotel. So I go over. I said, yeah, I said, um, that's George Steinbrenner over there. He said, well, who, who the fuck's that? I said, it's the, name, it's the name of the hotel we're in. Oh, he's the guy that owns a hotel. I said, yeah, he also owns shipyards and the New York Yankees. Really? I said, yeah. I said, well, I'm, I want you to go over and video with me, but he wants to meet you. Well, I don't know anything about him. I said, I'll get you through it. I said, just come on over. So we go over. I introduced Jimmy to him and, oh yeah, well, Jimmy's not the biggest baseball fan in the world, but yeah, he definitely knows who you are. And it's such a thrill. We're staying here. You're just kissing Steinbrenner's ass. So Jimmy videotapes me shaking hands and patting George Steinbrenner on the back. And he was just as nice as he could be. He was probably the Donald Trump of baseball back then. Um, you know, just th th that big of a personality, uh, that everybody in New York knew who the fuck George Steinbrenner was. Fuck, fr uh, Seinfeld made shows about it to where George Costanza worked for George Steinbrenner, even though it was fictional on the show. Uh, she was with Tully in JCP and with Dick Slater in Mid South. So, what was she? Was she solely Tully's girl? Because it was uh, Arn and her at the pool that were walking under our balcony when Jimmy was filming them. And, uh, but I, it seems like I definitely remembered her being with Tully. I couldn't remember if she was with anybody else or not. And then I didn't hear much about dark journey after those days. I, I, I don't know where she went or what she did. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, this, uh, there's some amazing shit on video that I would love to get out and get transferred, but I would probably have to dedicate a week or two just to getting the stuff out, finding it, hoping the tapes don't break when you put them in the machine. There's so many great memories in there that are, that are probably just, just that. I don't know that we could ever get the tapes to play, but if they would play,